Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom Brittany guys, another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to actually set up for trap kills and how to avoid getting trapped on your own. So guys, if you don't know, traps are very, very valuable, but for some reason in the recent update, they, they, they messed up traps completely where to the point you can basically avoid getting trapped in a box and killing somebody that way. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually set up a trap and then after that, we'll show you guys how to avoid traps. But let's get into the video. Starting off, what you're going to want to practice is this right here, just trapping somebody in a nice little box. Whenever they ramp over you, let them ramp over you, put a pyramid above them, and then put two walls to the side and maybe behind them. So that way they're trapped in a box and they can't do anything about it. That's what's step number one, what you need to practice. Another thing that you need to practice is not just them ramping over you with the space in between, but there's going to be times where you, you literally get cut off by his own ramp, and that's going to be a little bit harder. So you got to practice doing this. What you need to do is look up and jump. You got to scoot back a little bit, but you got to go into playground mode practice this with your friend it looks just like that you guys uh, again practice makes perfect and the more you actually get into these situations the better you'll get at it now basically once you have that down you're ready to go and you're ready to do the traps now my tip and suggestion is to put two traps down because the traps have gotten nerfed big time so to the point where you might need to put as many traps down as possible because as you guys can see right there he didn't even die by those two traps because there's some type of bug within the game where the two traps do not kill the enemy somehow sometimes the traps will go through the enemy and the enemy doesn't even get touched or bothered by it so with that tip let me show you guys what you need to do instead of just counting on your traps only this is what you need to do you need to remain as aggressive as possible once you get them trapped in a box put your two traps down and then get out of there and try and get above the other person because they're automatically going to be trying to try and find a way how to get away from these two traps so they're going to be inside that box confused they're not going to know what's going on they're not going to know how to get out so they're as you guys can see they're going to be looking around thinking of what they can do to get out of there so you need to get above them one because what if they break through the roof and they try to get high ground if you're just sitting there counting on your traps you're going to give them that opportunity for them to get high ground and you're going to have to fight for that which is not good in a build fight it just makes things a little bit harder so you got to always remember stay above the other person it helps out a lot now this technique also works if the other person ramps above you to the point where you can't walk any further like this right here you just got to put the roof down and put these spike traps down instantly you can break down the floorboard and try and fight them right away um, but keep in mind he probably will break through the roof and try to get above you So it's gonna be a little bit more difficult in that situation Now the best way to avoid a trap is to watch and see where the enemy puts the trap because if you see He puts it on one side all you got to do is get to the opposite side and the trap will never activate It'll never kill you that way So you're actually safe just standing on this side of the wall and you can actually break out the other wall and get out of there now, as you guys can see in this next clip, you're going to see the actual bug that I was talking about where the traps actually go through you and it doesn't even affect you. So if they put two traps on one side, all you got to do is just move in between the middle side and you won't get hit by the traps as long as you're as far away from possible. So if you're standing directly in the middle, you usually won't get hit by the traps. So it's a little bug in the game. But as long as you're like this far out, you're good to go. You won't get hit. But anytime you get any closer, like for instance, right next to it, as you can see, you're going to get hit by it. So just stand in the middle if they put two traps. And then once they go off, then you find a way to actually break down that wall and get out of there. Now, the best way to avoid the double trap if somebody traps you in a box is to just shoot the roof out and get above it. As you guys can see, the trap won't hit you because by the time it activates, I know everyone's running SMGs, so it's a lot better. But by the time the trap activates, you're already above and you have high ground on the other person so it's a win win situation so just practice that just shooting out the top the roof or anything like that now it's not every day that you're going to be able to trap somebody by ramping over them sometimes they'll get trapped in a box like right here as you can see the best thing you need to do is try to break down the roof and open up your own floorboard so that way you can actually edit it out get in there place the trap and then edit your way back out again as well so you can trap the person in there with your trap in there it helps out a lot it can get you an easy trap kill it is a little bit more difficult because you're going to have to shoot the roof if they're constantly putting up a roof it's going to be basically impossible because turbo building is a thing so what you need to do is shoot out the side distract them from the roof for a second and then shoot out the roof so that way you can have a split second time 
where they're putting down the wall that you shot down and you're putting down the roof so you can edit it out. Now to end the video off with a tip that everyone should know. So if there's a trap on the floor, how you can avoid it is just by putting a pyramid above it and you can walk over it. Now if there's one in the roof, a lot of people already know this one because of the gamer couple. They ended up showing the whole world what this is and you can basically walk underneath the trap safely and securely. So if you see a trap in a building and you don't want to shoot it down because you don't want to cause noise and stuff like that, all you got to do is the pyramid edit one side and it blocks it off completely. But that's it for today's video. I wanted to bring you guys this video because yesterday I did a actual trap kill in one of my live commentaries where I trapped somebody in a box and people were asking in the comments, can you give tips and tricks on how to actually trap people a little bit better and stuff like that. So I want to bring you guys this video for those that are beginners that don't really know what they're doing or don't know how to do it. Go to playground mode and practice these steps that I was actually showing you guys there. But with that being said, that's the end of the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.